Good morning and welcome to Point University's 2020 commencement celebration. I'm so glad that uh, we're able to be together today. I know it's not quite the same as we normally would. You know, when I think back in my life, I could have never imagined being a university president and presiding over a commencement. And I certainly never envisioned presiding over a virtual commencement where we're all actually not in the same place. But we're doing this because your accomplishment is so important. This milestone in your life is to be celebrated. You're to be congratulated. We didn't give degrees away. You earned your degree. You came to Point University in West Point or online. You've studied, you've prayed, you've learned, you've built relationships, and you've accomplished something that really, percentage-wise, very few people in America or even the world ever accomplish, earning a college degree. So while this is a little bit different, a little bit unusual, we want to recognize you and honor you. And to begin, I've asked uh, the Dean of our College of Biblical Studies and Ministry to open us in a time of prayer. 
We thank you for each of these graduates of Point University class of 2020. We pray that in their journey at Point, they have either confirmed or made the Lord their shepherd. And in that reality, they have discovered everything they need. We pray that in him, they have discovered a place to lie down in green pastures and in him, a place beside still waters. Even in these difficult times, we pray they have understood that he can restore their souls and that he leads them in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And even though we may be walking through the valley of the darkest of shadows at the moment, help each of them to fear no evil and to know that you are with them. May your rod and your staff give them comfort. And as you prepare a table before them in the presence of their enemies, will you anoint their head with oil and allow their cups to overflow. Help them to know assuredly that goodness and mercy can be with them all the days of their lives. May we dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This is our prayer, O Lord, in the name of the one who called himself the Good Shepherd and who promised to each of us who follow him the kind of life abundant described in this song. Amen. Each year at our commencement, we try to select a speaker that is perfect for our students and for the moment. And I think that this might be uh, the most uh, gratifying choice that I could imagine for this moment. I want to introduce to you Louis Giglio. Now, many of you know Louis because you've attended uh, the Passion Conference in Atlanta or some other place in the country around the world. Maybe you know him through uh, the music label that produces so many of your favorite Christian music artists. Maybe you've read some of Louis's books. But Louis is perfect for this moment for a lot of reasons. Louis knows and loves and speaks to hundreds of thousands of college students every year globally. Louis Giglio is known for his passion for reaching uh, college students. He's also the founder of Passion City Church in Atlanta that now has branches in different cities in our country. But most importantly, Louis Giglio is a person who is passionate about Jesus. In fact, everything that Louis has ever done, I've heard him say, is to make Jesus famous, to give Jesus the glory that he's due. And so now I ask that you pay special attention to this message that Louis Giglio has planned and is presenting just to you as a Point University graduate. Louis, please speak to us now. Hello everyone, I want to thank President Collins for that introduction and also for the privilege of being a part of Point University's commencement ceremony today. It's a huge honor for me to be a part of this virtual ceremony and something that I don't take lightly, so thank you very much for letting me be a part of it. It is a silver lining for me in the midst of a very uncertain time that in the midst of it all, it allowed me to come and be a part of such a special day in the life of Point University. To the faculty and the staff, to each one of you who've come to celebrate one of these graduates today, thank you for including me in what will most likely be the most notable graduation ceremony in the history of Point University. I think we can all say that it is truly mind-blowing that in recent weeks we've actually watched the entire world come to a screeching halt. But even that pause couldn't stop your leaders at Point University from doing what they pledged to do, to prepare you for your unique calling, to help shape your character, and for those of you we are celebrating today, to lead you 
to the finish line with a diploma in one hand and with a mission in your heart. And for that, I want to celebrate you, President Collins, your amazing team and staff. And if we were all together in one place right now, you would hear a giant ovation. But please know today that we recognize the leadership that you've provided in these days to get us to this moment. And we all want to say thank you. Now to each of you graduates, I want to say congratulations on an amazing accomplishment. You are the Point University class of 2020, but you're also going to be known forevermore as the COVID class at Point University. And I don't think that's all negative. In fact, honestly, it might be one of the best things that's ever happened to you. Today's lockdown climate has now become personal for each of you because COVID-19, although it has affected the entire world, has canceled your opportunity to walk across that stage, shake that hand, receive that diploma, and for some of you to hear your mom, because there's always one, yell out from the back, that's my baby girl, I'm proud of you, sweetheart. <laughs> while all the other families are appropriately celebrating. And we love you, Mom. We, you know who you are. In fact, we celebrate all of our moms out there today. And even though COVID may have canceled that moment and canceled the shout out from that one mom or that dad or that aunt, and while at the same time it's turned things upside down, I believe that this season and this resulting virtual graduation ceremony may be one of the greatest gifts that you have ever received. Obviously, we're living in unprecedented times, or at least an unprecedented time for our generation. I say our generation because throughout history, similar global pandemics have threatened civilization on a massive scale. I was stunned recently when I read that one of the holiest sites in the world, the Church of the Holy Sepulcher, a church building built on the actual site where many traditions believe Jesus was both crucified and where he was raised from the dead, that this site, the Church of the Holy Sepulcher, was closed this Easter season for only the second time in history. The first time that it was closed was 13 49, as a result of the Black Death, a terrorizing epidemic that was devastating the planet. To put it in terms that are hard to fully process, it's likely that during the season of the Black Death, one in four human beings on Earth died as a result of this plague. We're talking about an event that happened 671 years ago, and because of which the population of the world decreased by over 100 million people. I say all this not to compare where we are to where we've been, or to bog us down in the middle of a celebration ceremony in the arc of human suffering, rather to underscore that this current crisis may be unprecedented for us, but it is not unprecedented in the frame of human history. And to say that these, quote, unprecedented, unquote, days have something powerful to say to us and to say to each of you graduates today. First, these quote-unquote unprecedented days are spotlighting for your class what many of you already know, namely that nothing in life is certain. Every day, every moment is a gift. Even Jesus himself said, you can't count on tomorrow. So don't be surprised a month from now or a year from now or 20 years from now if things don't work out exactly
the way you planned. Just know that no matter what comes your way, God stays. Never give up because your plans change, because of circumstances you can't control, and never give up even if your best laid plans fail. I believe, and I promise you today, that if you could fully see God's plans for your life, they would blow your mind, and God's plans cannot be thwarted. My wife Shelley and I met when I was in grad school in Texas, and soon after her graduation from Baylor University, while I was still in grad school at that institution, my dad overnight was devastated by a tragic brain virus. His normal was permanently altered, and our normal was turned upside down during the seven years that we had with him before a heart attack unrelated to his disability took his life for months. Shelley was 22 at the time. Now the summer and a half before when we stood and said, I do, our plans didn't include this scenario. But if you zoom out today to where we're standing right now through these excruciatingly difficult seven years, God was at work. And through it all, he relocated us back to Atlanta, and a movement was born. That movement is called Passion. Out of the ashes of defeat came a movement that has touched so many of our lives. And I can say with confidence today, no matter what comes your way, God stays. Secondly, I want to urge you, when this crisis subsides and the invisible foe is gone from our daily routines, do not go back to normal. How many times have we heard the phrase in the last few weeks, I can't wait until things get back to normal. But you were not created for normal. You are extraordinary not because of the things you have done or even the things you can do, although these may be exceptional. You are extraordinary because of the one whose image you bear. So whatever you do and wherever the road takes you, don't settle for ordinary. Fight status quo. Despise average swim upstream, and rise above. Lastly, look for an opportunity to bloom and not to blame. I know it's frustrating to have to wind down your collegiate career and not even be able to cut loose and throw your cap into a cloud of celebration with your classmates. Although there is nothing keeping you from going out in the front yard today and throwing your cap up as many times as you want to. I know it's frustrating and disappointing to work so hard to become nationally ranked in the top 10 in golf or in tennis only to see your season cut short. I know it's also frustrating and disappointing to have your spring concert season vanish before you after your first performance. But Michael Hyatt brilliantly said this. One of the best questions to ask when something negative happens is this. What does this now make possible? A few weeks ago, when that Church of the Holy Sepulchre was closed for the second time in history due to the pandemic that we're all facing, the story of Jesus was very much open. Circumstances closed the door of the church built over the side of the empty tomb. But as for the tomb itself, the stone has been rolled away and its message cannot be stopped. Like many churches, the one I lead couldn't physically gather on Easter, which is for all of us church leaders and pastors, our Super Bowl every year. 
Yet in spite of the fact that we couldn't be in the building, over half a million people joined our church online to celebrate Easter with us. And thousands made a decision to begin a relationship with the risen Christ. Honestly, that would not have happened apart from a COVID-19 shutdown. Don't get so swallowed up in what has been lost that you fail to ask, what can be gained? Mankind has been through this valley before. We faced this beast and others like it. And by the grace of God, we're still here. So today, the question shouldn't be, will I make it through these days? Rather, what will these days make of me? Will you be a victim? Or will you link with the story of Christ, who is the hero of this university, and take up the story of the victor? Will you leave this place uncertain and fearful? Or will you walk away from this place believing that with God, all things are possible? You've taken some stellar classes on your academic journey under some amazing professors. In fact, some of you, like me during my undergraduate days, may have felt that a few of them uh, were so incredible that you wanted or <clears throat> needed to actually take them again. Christ in culture, strategic management, drama of scripture, organizational leadership, sports psychology, these are a few of the favorites at Point University. But as a result of these past few months, a new course credit has been added to each of your transcripts. You have now passed Global Pandemic 101. It's been maybe the toughest class of all, but it's also taught you all you're going to need for the rest of your life. Today, because of this virtual graduation, we are writing Skyhawk history. But tomorrow, you begin writing the history of the future of the world. What comes next is not just another day. Tomorrow begins another phrase, another sentence, another paragraph. And that sentence, phrase, or paragraph will in fact become the story of your life. No one can write it for you. You will take up the pen and begin to script your legacy, the narrative of how you spent your five seconds on planet Earth. And the beautiful and powerful reality is this. With God's help, you can turn the page tomorrow and begin to write whatever dream is in your heart. Together, we fly. Make sure whatever you do, you soar. God bless you. I wish the best to each of you. Thank you so much for letting me be a part. We have two special guests today uh, for our commencement exercises, and I'm happy to introduce to you my friend Dan Cathy. Dan and I uh, became acquainted uh, several years ago when I had the opportunity of being in a small group uh, with Dan for uh, several months. And through that, we built a relationship, and Dan has been a very good supporter of me personally and of Point University. He knows about you. He's prayed for you. His son Andrew serves on our board of trustees. And so when we were trying to think about what would make today's commencement special and unique, I thought, well, I'm going to ask my friend Dan to play the trumpet. You know Dan because he's the CEO of one of the undoubtedly most famous brands uh, in the restaurant industry, Chick-fil-A. But what you may not know about Dan is he's quite an accomplished trumpet player. 
Dan uh, goes to the openings of every store playing his trumpet. He's played his trumpet in churches with orchestras. Uh, last Christmas I received a little video from Dan playing uh, I Wish You a Merry Christmas. So I've asked Dan if he would play a song for us today on his trumpet that would encourage you and inspire you and know that this is a unique moment and that people like Louis Giglio, like Dan Cathy, know about you and are sending their congratulations and their, and their prayers so that you might uh, be blessed and be motivated to change the world for Jesus. Dan, play us a song. Off to the races. Hey, everybody from Point University. Dan Cathy here from Chick-fil-A. Just to congratulate you, and off to the races it is. I'm so happy for you and the incredible exper experience that you had of being under the direction of Dean Collins, the faculty, the staff at Point University, as you're ready to go to make a difference in the world. We need you as never before. My dad said the three most important decisions in life that we make start with the letter M, who our master in life is going to be. Secondly, who our mate in life is going to be. And thirdly, what our mission in life is going to be. And I'm so thankful that Point University, it prepared you for all three. To ask the Lord Jesus to be the master of your life, to be your strength, to be your refuge, to be your encourager. That perhaps some of you made some incredible introductions and you're able to kind of hone up in your life to find out what kind of marriage mate that you want to be. Maybe you found your marriage mate and you've already made that kind of commitment. Be on the lookout for God's got a partner perhaps for you. And then thirdly, he wants to help you make a great decision about what your mission in life. God has called us to be acts of service and kindness, no matter what your profession might be. So we're all on mission. We're all in full-time Christian service. And so from Dan Cathy from Chick-fil-A, we congratulate all of you, your parents, all the faculty, staff as well, because we're all off to the races. At each graduation, we present the Hathcock Award, so named for Judge T.O. Hathcock, a founder of Point University. This award is presented each year to a graduate in recognition of academic achievement, character, and servant leadership. Two awards are being presented today, one to the graduate of our traditional residential program and one to the graduate of our online program. West Point Residential, Ashley Kayser, and online, Miley Barkdale. Congratulations for this significant achievement. President Collins, on behalf of the faculty of Point University, it is my privilege to present the class of 2020 for the conferral of their degrees. Today, 187 students are graduating having earned an Associate of Science, Associate of Arts, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, or Bachelor of Business Administration degree. The class of 2020 has prepared to glorify God through leadership and service locally and around the world. Among this class are those of outstanding Christian character, scholastic accomplishment, and future leaders for Christ and culture. We are proud of their accomplishments as students at Point University. And now we send them out as salt and light to live out God's calling in their lives in whatever their chosen profession. Receiving the Associate of Science in Information Technology, Amanda Lakeisha Allen, summa cum laude, Receiving the Associate of Science in Medical Assisting, Christina Jalone Batiste. Julie Bell, summa cum laude. Receiving the Associate of Science in Medical Coding and Billing, Cassandra Renee Bryant. 
Megan Gregory, summa cum laude. Receiving the Associate of Arts in Accounting, Laura Borders, summa cum laude. Robin Denise McDaniel, summa cum laude. Receiving the Associate of Arts in Business Administration, Christian Duane Cosme, summa cum laude. Florence Christine Jones. Holly Hardnett. Kathy Renee Godwin, summa cum laude. Noah William Foley. Victoria Jillian Dudash, summa cum laude. Receiving the Associate of Arts in Child Development, Amanda Jolene Beasley. Malika Devora Blackshear. Christelle Putney, summa cum laude. Receiving the Associate of Arts in Christian Ministries, Rosalind Williams Sperlin. Robert Vincent Surowick. Thomas C. Vanderberg, summa cum laude. Receiving the Associate of Arts in Criminal Justice, Candace Marie Craven. Andrea H. Jackson. Receiving the Associate of Arts in General Studies, Xavier Elijah Hammonds, summa cum laude. Sienna Alexis White, summa cum laude. Receiving the Associate of Arts in Healthcare Administration, Jakia A. Robertson, magna cum laude. Ashley Marie Thomas, Lakeisha Chanel Tillman, cum laude. Receiving the Associate of Arts in Human Relations, Jordan Sierra Mose, receiving the Associate of Arts in Organizational Leadership, Christina Warren Watkins, summa cum laude, receiving the Associate of Arts in Psychology, Abigail Elizabeth Bray, magna cum laude, Haley Wright, magna cum laude, receiving the Associate of Arts in Public Health, Roy M. Allen, magna cum laude. Thissy Ann Boone. Kelly Mercer. Receiving the Associate of Arts in Social Media Marketing. Madison Page Nesselhut. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Accounting, Forensics, and Fraud. Avery Brett Scott, summa cum laude. Andrea Slusher, magna cum laude. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Applied Ministry, Miley Barkdall, summa cum laude. Paxton Alexander Barkdall, magna cum laude. Anna Fisher, Juliana Grace Johnson, Jonah Lee Mills, Niles Cameron Richardson, Clayton Joseph Shirley. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Biblical Studies, Nathan A. Burdett, magna cum laude. John R. Ramsey, magna cum laude. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Biology, Fallon Jovian Kizunga. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Biology, Pre-Professional, Emma Gross. Austin Luis Jaime, magna cum laude. Ian Stewart Merritt. Alyssa Gail Thomas, magna cum laude. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Demario Javon Anderson. Matthew W. Bagley, summa cum laude. Takenya Bashan Beasley, Garrett Brown. Amanda Rose Dalton. Andrew Charles Durham. 
Emily K. Durham, magna cum laude. Alexa Justine Jernan, magna cum laude. James Kirby Gracia. Priscilla A. Howard, summa cum laude. Ronnie Dwayne Johnson, summa cum laude. Joseph Paul Cloco. Jonathan Kyle Pickles, cum laude. Saquon M. Rogers. Jennifer Scholl. Patrick William Tobacco. Grace Victoria Vaughn, magna cum laude. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Child and Youth Development. Michelle Amber Donner, cum laude. Ashley Nicole Douglas. Rondi Caleb Good. Ellie Grace Hall. Ashton Caroline Heitman, magna cum laude. Alexandra Lee Milliken. Kristen Moss Moore. Micah Isaiah Sheroid Oglesby. Catherine F. Pearson, magna cum laude. Morgan Elizabeth Runyons. Randy Elise West. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Child Development. Tracy Best, cum laude. Dan Levi Bundy. Sarah Leanne Burrell, summa cum laude. Demetrius Y. Foster, cum laude. Ashley Holloway, Emily Suzanne Huff, Chelsea L. Mamet, magna cum laude. Athara Pierre, Teresa Lee Watson, summa cum laude. Shonda McBride Williams, magna cum laude. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Christian Ministries, Kia Blair, magna cum laude. Robert James Calgrove, magna cum laude. Marcia Glenn, magna cum laude. Jonathan Taylor Jeffries Herring. Brady Howell. Brianna Marie Nelson, magna cum laude. Darlene Simpson Thompson. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Counseling and Human Services, Madison Grace Bentley, magna cum laude. Taylor A. McFarland. Savannah Lee Taylor, magna cum laude. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, Quinton Alexander Kerr. Daniel Adai, Christopher Seth May, Renee Marie Perez, Kristen Ashley Stripling, magna cum laude, Daniela Karina Vizcaya, cum laude, receiving the Bachelor of Science in Elementary Education, Rachel Ruby Guy, cum laude, Sabria G. Marquez, Sarah Catherine Otto, Shelby Rice, cum laude, Mackenzie Ann Sibley, magna cum laude, receiving the Bachelor of Science in Entrepreneurship, Kevin L. Waylage, receiving the Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science, Mackenzie Fay Allen, Federico Barbon, Dayton Ridge Cook, Tatjana Yvette Gonzalez, Jalen Kanad Isom, cum laude, Craig Tyrone Jenkins Jr., Kadamon Tyler Jean Johnson, Kristen Dakota Overton, Joseph Henry Stone III. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science Pre-Professional. Alyssa May Fuller, cum laude. Martha C. Mormoneo. 
receiving the Bachelor of Science in Healthcare Administration, Marissa L. Krauss, receiving the Bachelor of Science in Human Relations, Giza Kadija Avery, Isa Nikel Kessler, magna cum laude, Patricia Ann Smith, Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, Matthew Garland Beard, magna cum laude. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Management, Coaquitha Michelle Higgins. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Middle Grades Education, Ashley Renee Kayser, summa cum laude. Jasmine Rochelle Marquez, cum laude. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Music, Francisco Javier Nava, Courtney Marquette Ramsey, Jonathan A. Reynolds, Andrew D. Spicer, summa cum laude, Hannah Grace Thrower, magna cum laude. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Organizational Leadership, Willa May Lester, cum laude. Lisa Peterson, magna cum laude. Wesley Grayson Rice, magna cum laude. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Ashton Jamal Benz. Taylor Nicole Brun. William Joseph Burgos. Tessa Leanne Burns. Anthony J. Childress. Ruth Fincher, Chandler Peyton Lunsford, Autumn Destiny Monkhouse, magna cum laude, Sandra D. Nixon, Wesley A. Rubiera, Karen Fonseca y Souza, Adriel A. Williams, magna cum laude, receiving the Bachelor of Science in Public Health, Brittany Nicole Biles, magna cum laude. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Secondary Education, Zachary Douglas Dudley, summa cum laude. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Social Media Marketing, Mark Ross Carlisle, Jr. Asia Desiree Wilson, magna cum laude. Receiving the Bachelor of Science in Sociology, Emma Pearl Bowles, Summa cum laude. Brianna Latrice Bonner. Leah Janae Montgomery. Sequisha A. Winters. Receiving the Bachelor of Business Administration in Accounting. Mario Virgilio Archibald Alvarez. Kelsey Dakota Davis. Zachary Lamar Hammond. Timothy Dwayne Laney. Kyle Austin Lewis, Joshua M. Padron, Blake Christopher Watson, receiving the Bachelor of Business Administration in Financial Management, Jordan T. Bates, Colin A. Bennett, cum laude, Marquez Deontay Jackson, Receiving the Bachelor of Business Administration in Management, Mercedes Alia Blake, Ansley E. Brown, Brenton D'Angelo Gaither, Winter G. Gardner, Mason David Graves, Eduardo Antonio Munoz, Kofi Nayadanu, Kobe J. Robinson. Receiving the Bachelor of Business Administration in Marketing, Colin J. Birkbeck. Julia C. Felix. Dominique T. Moore. Receiving the Bachelor of Arts in Biblical Studies and Preaching Ministry, Alexander Marco Allen. Brody Thomas Boykin. Receiving the Bachelor of Arts in Counseling and Human Services, Michaela Shanzia Bullock. 
Kathleen Elizabeth Johnson. Receiving the Bachelor of Arts in English, Mackenzie Lee Patterson, cum laude. Dwight Vincent Washington. Receiving the Bachelor of Arts in History, Hutch Rayleigh Blair. Kent O'Neill Braswell. Victoria Nicole Larchevo, cum laude. President Collins, on behalf of the faculty of Point University, it is my privilege to present the graduate class of 2020 for the conferral of their degrees. Today, 19 students are graduating having earned either a Master's of Business Administration, Master's of Strategic Ministry, or a Master's of Transformative Ministry degree. These graduates chose to further develop their intellectual and professional skills to more fully and effectively live out God's calling in their chosen profession. As with our undergraduates, among this class are also those of outstanding Christian character, scholastic accomplishment, and future leaders impacting culture for Christ. We are proud of their accomplishments and now send them forth into the world as exemplary ambassadors of Christ-centered service and leadership. Receiving the Master of Business Administration in Business Transformation, Christopher Michael Bailey, Natalie Ann Brown, Valerie Doreen Dowdley, Abigail Fallon Moore, Chandra Michelle Ponder, receiving the Master of Strategic Ministry, Nathaniel Clark Aldifer, Sarah Elizabeth Aldifer, Travis Brown, Kellen Bryant Key, Megan K. Manning, John Glenn Milton, Jacob Deal Moore, Caleb James Peeler, Lauren T. Seagraves, Nathan Perry Seagraves, Sherry Renee Wilson, Justin Timothy Yerby. Receiving the Master of Transformative Ministry, Arnethia Shante Day. Sharon A. Hardin. Well, this is the big moment. You've heard your name. You've seen your picture. You've seen the accomplishment on the screen. But now I want to confer the degree. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the trustees of Point University, I confer upon you the degree of Associate of Science, Associate of Arts, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Business Administration, Masters of Business Administration, Masters of Transformative Ministry degree, or Master of Strategic Ministry degree, with all the honors, privileges, and responsibility of said degree. We are so proud of you. This has been a great time together celebrating this significant accomplishment in your life. And I'd like to close our time together with a word of prayer for you just now. Heavenly Father, um, we didn't see this moment looking exactly like this. We may have wanted it to be different, but just as our graduation has been somehow impacted or interrupted because of a pandemic, we know that you have been with us through every moment. There'll be times in our service for you, in our jobs, in our ministries, in our families, where there will be interruptions and stress and difficulties. And we know that you will be with us then as well. I thank you for all of those that have completed the race academically today, that have accomplished things that they have dreamed of and sought for so long. And I ask your blessing be upon each of them, that they might be strengthened by your Holy Spirit, 
that they might move boldly into the future, honoring you, making you famous by serving you as they serve others. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day. Thank you.